In this tutorial I'm going to go over how to use uh, the flow graph uh, in CryEngine which is a visual scripting system that is embedded in the CryEngine sandbox editor. Uh, the main advantage of the flow graph is that it uses um, sort of a visual way of uh, laying out logic or activities that can happen within the uh, environment uh, without actually having to write or script code uh, which is pretty exciting. So to start with um, we're going to set up a uh, ooh, come back, uh, a player starter or a spawn point so that we always start in the same place and it's going to activate it a couple other things. So to start with um, you'll probably notice that at the top I've got uh, the information disappeared and uh, when we go into the game a couple other things. So I'll just start um, going into the game to show you what happens. So we've got a much cleaner environment, no weapons um, and no uh, heads up display or HUD uh, and we can run around. But we're always going to start in the same place um, which is quite exciting. So I'm just going to get it out. So there you can see the um, spawn uh, point there. So um, I'll just clean up the uh, so just uh, going to clean up the level uh, and uh, go through how to create all these things that I've got here. So, so uh, I've just got a, a simple level here um, that we're going to start to explore. So uh, a number of you asked about how to get rid of all of the dots and things here uh, and I'll this key up the top here, the button, if you click that, it gets rid of all the sort of non-game uh, pieces. So we can turn that on and off. Or well, shortcut is uh, shift spacebar, uh, toggles that on and off as well. Um, to start with, we're going to add the spawn point, which is an entity. So we're going to go up to the objects palette in the uh, roll-up bar and go to entity. And I've already got it here, so it's multiplayer and then spawn point. It's, it can be used in single player environments as well, so we're fine. So click and drag that in. Uh, and you can see here, get it in the right place. Um, I've had it selected on, on rotate uh, already, um, but you can see the uh, person comes in. Also, we might want to I'll just lift it up. Uh, and if you hold down Control Shift, that uh, how far away from things are um, so which can be or even just hold down shift uh, how far away from the ground so if you want it on the ground um, but that can be useful to make sure you locate it and I want to rotate it around so hit the rotate uh, button and then hit the Z axis and just rotate, rotate it so I'm facing all my um, model and what we're going to do is going to create a flow graph to to go along with that, um, and uh, so just close a few things. And uh, so I'm going to come over here, right click on the little button, and create flow graph. And we need to give it a name. So let's go start, uh, and that brings up. Uh, uh, graph like this um, and there's some uh, further information on uh, the 134 design blog or you can go to the uh, CryDev uh, site and find information about it uh, about the different parts but we've got a, a sort of panel here and you can sort of see a, a grid so we can start to add pieces to that now what I'm going to do because we've got uh, I'm just going to select select that as well because uh, uh, we want to add some things. So I'm going to right click here and add selected entity so it knows what it is so quickly it, it, uh, because we had that, that piece selected. So it's the spawn point and we want to um, activate this somehow so we need to right click and add start mode. So as soon as we start the game we can attached uh, something to it. Uh, so here we're going to uh, go spawn. Um, so let's quickly uh, test that. So I'll just um, pull this out of the way and 
go back into the dome. So now if I go Control G, you will see that it, it puts me right down to that that point. So we're always going to start in the same place. So no matter where we are in the environment, uh, we'll always be in the same place. Um, so we'll just bring this back, and also. Um, by default they're already turned off in my uh, view but we can add some other ones I'll just show you for you guys how to do it because yours won't be set like this so I'm going to set uh, another way of um, activating things is to uh, have a um, input key so we're going to add a node and trigger where are we or is it input let's see input and then key so there's a different way so we've got a key so uh, we can edit in here or we can add them up here so I'm just going to edit here so I'm going to double click on key so when we push the I key uh, something's going to happen so I've got the sort of I key and then I'm going to get some things so the way um, most game engines are set up there's a console commands or variables so I'm going to add one of those which is under add node system uh, console variable and uh, now we can sort of start to set this to, to do things so double click on variable and this one is uh, r underscore display info uh, so that's the command and you need to tell it what to do so in this case we want to turn it off which is zero um, and now we need to activate it, so we're going to go over to Prest and drag a little curve over to uh, um, Set, so it sets it. Uh, if you decide that you've put it on the wrong thing, you can click and drag off uh, that part and it will um, delete it, or we can go over there. Also we can, there's a little circle in the middle of the curve, we can go over that, right click and we can dis dis disable it as well. Um, or uh, enable. There's a few other things that we'll look at later. Um, so I want another one. Um, so rather than going in, I'm just going to copy and uh, paste with links. Uh, so it automatically links it for us. Uh, but this time we want to change this to g underscore show hud. Um, and then the variable value will be the same. So uh, we've got those two things. And then uh, another one that's quite good, depending on what uh, environment you want, we want to um, get rid of the uh, the weapons. So I'm going to go up Add Node, and then uh, let's see Inventory, and it is Remove All Items. So here I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to drag when pressed activate so uh, those sort of uh, start those things to go so um, because uh, I've already turned them off because I was testing before I'm going to turn them on in this case so as I can come up and push one one uh, and I don't need any guns so I'm going to leave that um, uh, so let's have a quick try now that I've done that so Control G, so I'm in the right place, and now I'm going to push I, and all those things come up. Okay, so um, if I want, I can come back and just edit those. So in this case, I'm just going to um, leave them to uh, uh, um, so you can change them manu manually at this stage. So I'm just going to go back and uh, change them because it might be quite good to uh, leave up the this one while you're working to, to keep an eye on the frames per second because it's a good test of how well your model is, is performing and whether uh, you need to do something else. Uh, in the next tutorial I'll go over how to make an object move. Uh, hopeful, hopefully that is helpful.